I have a question, a quick question about consciousness and this. And then I have to leave pretty soon or my wife will kill me. Okay, okay. Yeah, so consciousness, this and... trickster element you mentioned. Now, at the same time, there's also Steve Greer. I believe it's Greer who said that there's a project called CE5 or at least a, a, a technique of, of CE5 of connecting yourself with an alien via some meditative technique or perhaps even psychedelic, some trance state, some abnormal consciousness state, altered state. What do you make of this? Uh, well, John, you know, well, I, well, I'll I, say one thing about well, let me say one thing about Stephen Greer. I, I I've never met the man. Um, um, I do take my hat off to him. He's done some incredible work early on. Uh, he's not a big fan of uh, our organization at all, and I'm not quite sure why. Uh, but he isn't. But as far as what he's doing with CE5 and what have you, I I don't have any comment on that. I I I, I don't go that far. I mean, it's. Tom, do you want to? Yeah, my, my feeling um, is that, you know, again, if you look at just w what we've done as human beings over the past hundred years, where it's like we first, you know, we invent the telephone and then radio waves and communicating over different frequencies. And then we're able to tap phones and we're able to tap, you know, hack into radio, whatever. Like you just look at the progression that we're doing. I would bet money that down the line when we're technologically advanced we're going to not be hacking radio waves we're going to be hacking minds we're going to be listening in to what people are thinking and what is the loudest that someone can be when they're thinking i would imagine it's a group of people that are that are meditating or together they're all thinking the same thing at the same moment you know so it's almost like if you're searching around for a light in the dark that's a brighter light so part of me really does subscribe to um, you know, consciousness and meditation and the focusing of one's mind um, is being something that that something advanced could easily get into. I mean, when you, when you look at the evidence or you look at the data of the people involved, it's, you know, you can be paralyzed or you hear voices in your head or, you know, there's it's always something to do with, you know, kind of hacking the system to a degree. Um, so I, I think that that's all plays a big part of it. And uh, and I definitely believe it you know i just think that it needs to be studied scientifically yeah i, I agree I, I don't discount what stephen greer is saying i i uh, I, I you know it could possibly be true i just don't know enough about it uh um uh but but i, I applaud that he's actually working on it but I, you know 